Hi, I'm Alicia Decker, co-founder of Mended Light, and I have a question for you. Can you be traumatized and not know it? Probably. Yes, absolutely. Hi, we, see. One more time for the people in the back. Yes, you can be traumatized and not know it. Your lack of knowledge when it comes to understanding trauma and how post-traumatic stress shows up in your body, your beliefs and behavior does not mean that it affects you any less. It might mean that the trauma affects you even more though. Can you teach me more? Let me explain. But before I do that, Mended Light is all about healing from trauma so you can feel safe, whole, and worthy of love. Thank you for joining us. And remember to subscribe and click the bell to be sure you don't miss a thing. Okay, back to what I was saying about trauma and how it can affect you. Let's say you break your arm. You live in a culture that is familiar with broken arms and you or the people around you, friends and family, know what to do. They take you to the doctor, you get an x-ray, the break is diagnosed, and a healing process is prescribed. You get a cast so that the arm is not re-injured. Without a cast, you could further damage the arm and further injury could even affect your hand or shoulder because your arm is connected to the rest of your body. You wear it for a certain number of weeks. When it's time, the protective cast is removed and you are ready to start physical therapy exercises to strengthen the muscles and to restore range of motion to tendons and ligaments. Within no time, you are feeling better, whole, capable of doing the things you used to because you had the proper care, time to heal, and guidance. It's important to note that it also took effort and mindfulness on your part. You had to do the physical therapy work to regain your strength and mobility. Nobody else could do that for you. Okay, same scenario. You break your arm, except this time the culture you live in is not familiar with broken arms. You or the people around you, friends and family, do not know what to do. You don't go to the doctor. The break is not diagnosed and there is no healing process to follow. You go throughout the day wondering, what is wrong with me? Why am I in so much pain? I mean, I can't see anything that's wrong. Maybe it's all in my head. You begin to question and doubt yourself. It becomes painful to do everyday things. So you stop doing them to minimize the suffering, but the pain never truly goes away. People you know and love unknowingly bump or jostle you, triggering pain that you don't understand and are unable to explain. So you might start isolating yourself to minimize the grief, but it never truly goes away. Maybe you've tried to explain to friends and loved ones, even though you don't quite understand what is going on, and they downplay or minimize your experience. I mean, nothing looks broken. Or maybe you've shared with loved ones what you are experiencing, and while they are kind and supportive, they haven't ever experienced a broken arm, and they don't really understand what it's like, and they are at a complete loss on how to help you. More often than not, you just smile and pretend through the pain, not sharing it with anyone. You don't even really understand what's going on for you, so how could you possibly explain it to someone else? You find yourself creating unhealthy coping mechanisms to get through the day. But what options do you have? The focus isn't on living your life or developing your gifts. The focus is on survival, managing the pain and coping the best you can. The arm never truly heals because you do not have the proper care along with time to heal and guidance. You could not do the work to regain your strength and mobility because you didn't know what you didn't know. Trauma is much the same way. Whether you are aware of it or not, it affects you. It affects who you are, what you believe, how you behave, and how your body feels. If you do not have the proper care, time to heal, and guidance, you have no way to make sense of what is going on for you, and you have no way to put in the work that only you can do to regain your mental and emotional strength. I've actually experienced this in my life. When I was in my late teens, I experienced a sexual trauma. Of course, at the time, I didn't understand that that's what it was. 
asexual trauma. Instead, I felt some combination of self-doubt, regret, and blame. I felt that somehow that trauma was my fault. I didn't feel I had a safe person in my life that I could talk to. And shame is a powerful motivator to keep things hidden. Shortly after that, I developed an eating disorder, which I didn't know at the time was a common post-traumatic symptom of sexual trauma. That coping mechanism, along with a few others, is what helped me realize years later that I had experienced a trauma and I had textbook symptoms of PTSD. All at once, I experienced a flood of understanding, empathy, and acceptance for myself. I wasn't wrong, bad, or shameful. I was coping the best way I knew how with a trauma I did not cognitively know at the time I had experienced. My body and my nervous system knew that it was a trauma and responded accordingly to keep me safe. If you've experienced trauma and are working through your healing journey, be sure to check out our video, What is Your Body's Natural Reaction to Trauma? And will you do me a favor? If this video has been helpful for you, will you share it with those you know and love that are experiencing these same challenges? Also subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any mended like goodness. Just because no one else can heal or do your inner work for you, doesn't mean you can, should, or need to do it alone. You have a community and a place to belong with Mended Light. Remember to keep shining. We need your light. And check out the next video.